Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we will show you how to bleed the cooling system on a BMW E60, 65. We're going to do that without using any special tools, uh, any special funnels or anything like that, just uh, regular things. Uh, so stay with us now guys, we'll show you how to do it because uh, it could be a little bit complicated procedure. We have a video how to drain the system and if you put new coolant, now we will show you how to do it. First thing that you want to make sure that you have a charger on the battery, you need to have at least 13 volts, which means, uh, you know, probably the charger is putting about 14, which would be great. If you have an adjusting one, set it uh, not to drop less than 13. And we'll show you now how to do it. It's very important to, uh, to have that uh, thing, because if, if the battery uh, is weak and it's gonna get weak, it's gonna take about 10, 12 minutes with ignition on and pumps running, so, it's gonna be it's gonna be a while and it's gonna die and not finish the process so now we're just gonna go go ahead and start adding coolant at first you don't need to do anything okay it's gonna start taking it so as I said we have the video how to how to drain the system and you keep adding until it takes it So it started taking it slower now, you need to make sure you don't spew too much if you do wash it later. Especially if you have pets, don't do that in the driveway or wash it immediately because if they drink it they will, you will kill them, it's very poisonous. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit more now. And when we fill it up all the way until the top, we're going to stop and show you what else you need to do. It's gonna take some time guys, it's not a procedure that you can do for just two minutes and be done. Don't fill it up and drive it, that's equivalent to you pretty much getting a new engine. Okay, so we're gonna leave it like that and we will let it take as much as it needs to. Okay, so we will probably let it stay like that for about 2-3 minutes. Alright guys, it's been about 12 minutes, 11-12 minutes I think, and it stopped. It stopped uh, circulating the pump, so the procedure is ready. If it's too much, you need to take some out now. Uh, with a, uh, we'll show with the, with the one that you can use the, for uh, testing the antifreeze. Stay with us, we're gonna grab one quick and show you. And uh, you still need to do a few more things before it's ready to make sure everything is good. So uh, it'll be really convenient if you have uh, some kind of OBD scanner to check the actually the temperature, the engine temperature. Okay, so if you have too much and you can test it pretty good, you can squish some out uh, that way. Okay, you can see they sell them for 90 cents at the parts store. So now uh, we'll just make sure we have the right level and after that we're going to install the cap and, and start the car for about, uh, uh, we'll let it run without driving anywhere guys, right? just let it run at one spot for probably 15 to 20 minutes and stay with us, we'll connect the scanner to show you what to look for. Uh, make sure you don't overheat the car because uh, no matter the procedure is done sometimes you might still have an air pocket you can go ahead and disconnect the charger now we won't need it anymore okay guys so we're gonna open the hood now and uh, what you need to do now we're gonna let it run okay we connect it uh, don't drive it anywhere just uh, you can move it back and forth but don't drive it anywhere we have the OBD scanner there you can get a really uh, cheap one that will do that too. Make sure the heater is on like it was. Let the car run and we are going to uh, keep eye on the temperature. Okay, on the, uh, on the coolant temperature. Make sure the car doesn't overheat. So uh, we'll show you how we're going to check this one out. And we're going to let it run for about 15 to 20 minutes easy. Okay guys, so as you can see now, we are checking coolant temperature engine 69 degrees Celsius. You'll probably go around 90, 
uh, Celsius. So we're just gonna keep eye on that, make sure he doesn't go over probably 97. I don't remember exactly, but usually probably that's where the fan kicks in 94, 97, something like that. We wanna make sure the thermostat opens. So we're gonna let it run if it's hot. Probably 15, 20 minutes will be enough. Uh, in our case, it's cold, so we can probably do 30 minutes. And you can check the radiator outlet. That's the temperature in the radiator, 42. Which means that uh, the thermostat didn't open. We'll see if we notice uh, this one moving a little bit. Stay with us. Okay guys, so as you can see, the radiator temperature went up 56. Uh, it was like uh, 30, 40. Now, uh, coolant temperature 93. So thermostat opened just for a little bit. Okay, you can see 57, close it after that. So uh, everything is good. Just, uh, I'll recommend to cool the car off now. Let it cool for a really long time, probably half a day. Check the coolant level again before we drive it and uh, then you, you can drive it and uh, make sure just keep keep an eye, make sure you don't overheat it because it's always a little bit tricky to bleed those things. Thank you guys for watching, hopefully the video was helpful, don't forget to subscribe guys, help us grow.